Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Wonder Woman issue number 73. Guessed everything on this. It's almost, it, it, this should feel like an interlude, but somehow it doesn't. Like, it's perfectly woven in, the story. The way that these guys work this out, to have a story within a story, freaking excellent. Absolutely love this. Great idea. All right, The Queen and the Empress. We got Steve Orlando as the guest writer. Aaron Lopresti as uh, the guest penciler. Matt Ryan is the guest inker. Romulo Fierro Jr. is just the colorist. And uh, Pat Brousseau is just the letterist. Uh, Jesse or, or Jesus Marino and Romulo Fierro Jr. on the cover. And Jenny Frayson, as usual, doing the freaking beautiful variant covers. Um, and Wonder Woman was created by William Moulton Marston. And she Peter, but who cares, right? Nobody cares. DC doesn't care. We've got Hippolyta versus Hippolyta. What the freak? So we find out more about the Chi dimension. Um, they're just at the very, like, edge of the, the Chi dimension. We, that's how we left off in the previous issue. Uh, apparently this has never existed in the DC universe before, so yay me! <laughs> Here's a story that we're getting from the past that when, um, uh, what do you call it? after, what is it called? After um, James Cheney IV does Secret... Uh, excuse me, not secret. Dark. Dark. Justice League Dark. Uh, the Wonder Woman story where Wonder Woman's like, you know, a wild, rambunctious little girl who's getting herself into trouble and crashing in on midnight ceremony parties. Well, she does it in this issue also. <laughs> so she uh, she accidentally jumps into a fire and her mom falls in with her and they go into the Chi dimension a long time ago. And, they, and it's basically a dimension that uh, Hippolyta winds up... Um, um, uh, dreaming up. She conceives of this dimension, but instead of her as the loving mother, it's instead her as a, a panicky woman, a more of a, an untrusting, uh, she, she's, she's fickle, you know, more than anything else, but she, she doesn't trust anyone. So, uh, she doesn't have a daughter. She throws that lump of clay into the sea as, um, as it explains in this comic book. Very cool. So there's an icy ending to her final meeting with um, um, well, 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 with the two Queen Hippolyta's meeting each other, Queen Hippolyta and Empress Hippolyta. And uh, I, I don't want to go too far into the comic book, but I will say it was damn good. This was a damned good issue. Wow. This just, like, for me, this is completely out of nowhere. Because they're saying, oh, it's going to be guest everybody on the book. I'm like... Oh, this is going to suck. Nope. I'm more than happy to say I was wrong. Um, I, I kind of want this story to continue. I want to know more about what's going on in this chi dimension, dude. Can we chill in the chi? Next issue, they're promising the return of the Amazons. That's awesome. But there's something else that happens in this comic book. Golden Age character returns. Yeah. Atomia. Um, most of us will not remember Atomia. The only reason why I remember her is because, you know, the the correlation between the military and comic books goes together like peanut butter and jelly. And when I was overseas, when I was in the Middle East, I studied the hell out of um, the digital comic book empire. Uh, I'm going to say something really bad that I guess I did, but sorry. Um, I illegally downloaded comic books. I illegally viewed comic books. Um... It wasn't illegal where I was, but technically illegal because I'm still a United States citizen. I'm still, uh, you know, still in the military and whatnot. And I really didn't know and I didn't understand what was going on. But, like, there was no way for me to get my hands on comic books over there. Like, physical copies, the floppies, or the, or the trades. It was almost impossible to get my hands on that stuff over there. Um, like, nobody else in my family likes comic books. So nobody could find out something that I would like, you know? Um, anyway, yeah, so, um, one of the comic book, uh, titles that I went deep into was Wonder Woman while I was over there. That was when the New 52 was coming out. So, yes, I read about Atomia back, like, in the Golden Age comic books. Um, I don't know if she appeared in the Silver or Bronze Age. Um, I'm sure she did, but whatever. Um, this was cool. This was really cool, like, to have a throwback like this, to have a callback to some original characters and find an entirely different way to use this character. That is cool. Also takes a little gumption, and I liked it here. 
But then again, this is the chi universe where everything's kind of reversed, right? So Tommy is fairly benevolent here. I like this. I really like this a lot. Seriously, guys, more of this. I would not complain for more of this. Anyway, guys, great Wonder Woman issue. Issue number 73. Go pick it up. You can read it in the story or you can read it, you know, in, in the run or you can read it just as a solo issue. This is a cool little tidbit, a, a, a dip of the toe into the salt waters of Wonder Woman's past. Uh, like I said, Amazon's that maybe in the chi dimension. We'll see what happens there. Next issue, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.